So this question was asked in the CBSC examination year 2003. It says find the equation of the plane passing through the point 1, 1 and minus 1 and perpendicular to the planes, the first equation, the second equation. So you have to decide that you have to carry on with this Cartesian form method and then you can proceed or you want to convert into vector form. Once you've decided, then we can start with the solution. For this question, I am going with the vector form. It is up to you completely. Both the forms will give the answer if solved correctly. So passing through the point means the position vector have to be found out. Now it is i plus j minus k vector. Also, this is the first equation. This is the second equation. Now n1 vector and n2 vector should be known. n1 vector has to deal with 1, 2, 3 as the coefficients. So it is i plus 2j plus 3k. N2 vector means the normal second one. It is 2i minus 3j plus 4k. Now you know that the answer can be found out by r minus a dot n is equal to 0. So this is there. Now r minus a means r has to be found out first which is the position vector. Now r vector is n1 cross n2. That means you have to find out the cross product of these two normals. So 1, 2, 3 and plus 2, minus 3 and 4. Let's solve this. So this becomes i to one side, then minus j and then plus k. So removing the first row and the first column, 8 plus 9 is 17. Minus j already outside. Removing the second column, the first row, 4 minus 4 minus 6. So 4 minus 6 should be there like. Let's again check this. 4 minus 6 is minus 2. Removing the third column and the first row. Minus 3 minus 4 is minus 7. So this is 17i cap plus 2j cap minus 7k cap. This is what we have obtained from the cross product. Now after we've done this, we're just going to put it here. So as you know, this is r vector, then minus a vector, a vector is the position vector. I have to see that this should have been a vector means not position vector that passing through the point vector and dot n vector, fine. So we can also do it like r vector dot n vector is equal to a vector dot n vector. Now here r vector is what? It has to be remained as it is and n vector, this was n vector, my bad, this should have been n vector. So n vector is where it is 17i plus 2j minus 7k vector is equal to a vector dot n vector. This upper one is a vector as I told you and this is n vector. So just dot product 17 plus 2 is 19, 19 plus 7 is 26. So this is 26 here. So this is the answer. How we found out we had to first think upon what do we want to choose? Do we want to go with the vector equation form or do we want to go with the Cartesian equation? Once we've decided, then we'll proceed further and obtain the answer.